Hello and welcome back to Boring Dead Gaming, where today I'm going to be playing some more Dave the Diver. Um, we've got two possibilities of things to do today, I suppose. We've got um, more of a self-imposed target, I suppose, of going to the glacial passage and area with a net gun, trying to capture um, some more of these smaller fish that we can populate in our fish farm. Or, or we go after the wizard with jellyfish with a wizard hat. I'm actually going to do the net gun, I think. I can actually look if we could upgrade our net gun or if what's required to do so. Pelican eel skin. We've actually got two of those. Oh, this fires a steel net. That's pretty good. Plus the topaz we need as well. I mean, it's doable. Not at this time, but it is, in theory, doable. Uh, okay, well, I'm going to equip the one that I've got then. Ah, uh, oh, here we go. Yeah, large net. There we go. Um, I guess getting more topaz would probably be good. Can't really upgrade anything else. So I'll probably go to the Sea People Village. Because that's where the Glacial Passage fish are going to be, aren't they? Yeah, let's start off. Let's actually go to Cobra's shop as well. I didn't do this earlier. Uh, I'll take some of that. This might be good in, in com combination with our net, actually, thinking about it. Alright, so let's do Sea People. We've also got the cooking competition tonight. That was quite fun last time. Quite enjoyed that. Not only because I won. <laughs> Again, it's just a new um, element that's going to be thrown into the game, isn't it? There's that sort of constant variety, which is uh, very, very good. It's a very, very good thing. I mean, I've been playing this game for... Probably over 30 hours now, I'd say, and it's it's still feeling, you know, fresh and fun, which is obviously very good. The only thing about doing it this way is I'll have to come back out to go to the glacial area. But let's just go in with the nets that I've got and see what we can do. So how does this lure work, then? Let's just try and kind of scooch all the fish maybe more towards the middle. And put this down. See, those ones have gone for it. Can I get these ones in a bit closer as well? Yeah, they wouldn't go for it. So I've got these two. And it's a one-use thing as well, which is a bit of a shame. I can try and sort of shepherd them a bit more together. Just not working with this barrel eye. How can I get these two together? Right, this one. Can I get you going up a bit? Sod it. Do it this way. <laughs> refills here so let's take one of those I'm not going to go into all the various side rooms but I will come down to places like this let's let that one get a bit closer there we go So hopefully we'll get some good uh, good fish eggs and stuff out of this that we can use to populate our farm. Ah, uh, what's this guy? 
which is good because we want this skin so we can make the steel net I've heard it's got quite a good drop rate this so I'm thinking this could hopefully be just the last one we need Did we get a skin? No. Unusual. I think I've only caught that twice and I had two skins until now. means it's the only, I think, I can't remember if I've said already, but I think this is the only place that type of fish can be found. So I'll have to make another trip here at some point and hope to get that. Lobfish. everything in this area so I'm gonna to have to go back up to the village and then we'll we'll, we'll go to straight to the glacial area via the mirror I suppose I could use the ammo and, and probably the oxygen from here The lure worked quite well. It, uh, the fact that you only get one use, though, makes it a bit limited utility, I think. A sip of water. So, yeah, we'll go to the glacier layer. We'll do a bit more of that. We'll, we'll catch some stuff. And then we'll head to the boat and our cooking competition. extremely heavy now. Oh, these peacock squid are really, uh, they're really heavy, aren't they? Oh, my so, so everything as I've caught is really heavy. Ha. Ah. You know what? I might change the plan then. I might just go back to the boat. We can do that from here. Let's go do that. Because I want to keep all this stuff. I don't really want to have to get rid of stuff. We'll just come back another day and do it in the proper glacial area. that. Not too bad. I mean, I'm hoping I've already got some of those, so at least I've got two of those ones now. Um, I want, if I can go to the fish farm now, I, w I will, because I want to go and kind of see... Mind you, they won't have hatched, will they? So probably it's a waste of time. I'm not entirely sure why it takes so long to load up, uh, but it just does for some reason. Glacier Passage. Okay, so...
yes, apart from pelican eel. But everything else should be duplicates, so we can uh, start breeding these guys. That's good. Polar eel pout. Yep, that should be good. An arctic cod row. I think that's our only one. Oh well. Alright, we're going to go to sushi. Competition time. I wonder if we like the last one, like the same type of mini games and stuff. Confident stride. Hello everyone, this is Yui from NDC Station. Ladies and gentlemen, as you know, today is the day of the final clash in Challenge the Chef. Bancho, are you ready? Yes. How about you, Alex? Ready, my fingers are uncontrollably wiggling. Excellent, let's be then let's begin Challenge the Chef now. Banjo. D. S. D. S. D. If you say so, roast the onion. Hold space bar. Wonder how many we have to do. Just the two. Make a dipping sauce. S. 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 Hold D. Hold S. Hold A. Perfect. Back to the fish and starch. We did this before. Oh, we only need three. Fry the fish. And the green, let's do it halfway through the green. Perfect. Ah, that was it. scores. 95 versus 99. That's a win. What? Alex's fish and chips lost? Oh, what an upset. My fries are the best in the world. Yes, your fish and chips indeed tasted excellent. Incredible, actually. But what is the theme of this contest? The theme? It's fried dishes. Not quite right. The theme for this contest was fry the sea. Masterfully fried cod is good on its own, but that alone does not represent the sea. However, Bancho's dish was. What kind of soy sauce did you use? 
I added chopped green la lava and added it to the normal soy sauce. As expected, I liked your shark and squid combination, but the highlight was your soy sauce recipe. The soy sauce enriched with the flavor of the sea better represented the taste of the sea. What an impressive flavor. Your dish gave me a feeling of exploring the sea, from the coastal waters to the deep sea. That was a fabulous adventure. The texture of your fried dish was good as well, but the game changer was your soy sauce. Oh, alas, my perfect fries were not enough to satisfy the judge. It was a close match. Let us hear what Banjo has to say. You need to be careful when making the soy sauce. That's... Thank you, Banjo. The champion prefers action over words, and we love it. I think he'd like to speak more. And it's time to wrap up today's episode of Challenge the Chef. Today, Banjo won the contest. This is... Wait a moment. I am pleased by today's contest, and I would like to give him a piece of advice. You, I see your menu is expanding, but the drinks you offer stay the same, yes? Because I am a chef, not a barkeep. You said the same thing before. Dining is a comprehensive experience. What do you pair up with your pasta? A glass of wine, a glass of cola, or just a glass of water? It will significantly change the dining experience. Your place cannot satisfy the various tastes of customers with a limited selection of drinks. This is my gift to you. It's a cocktail dispenser. Mmm, cocktails. They don't go well with sushi, though. Oh, please, not every cocktail is sweet. You can make interesting cocktails using sake as a base. Well, of course, you're not in charge of drinks, that hungry-looking guy. Hey, yes, you. Me? I will leave this cocktail dispenser here. You will find out how best to use it. Oh, a gift from Vincent, a cocktail dispenser. Bancho Sushi will offer more menu items soon, and we can't wait to see what will be added to its menu. See you next time. This was Reporter Yui. Cocktails. Oh, the dispenser's designed to serve three different cocktails at the same time. Well, I'm not familiar with cocktails, but come to think of it, this is like a drink version of Amakasi. Yeah, that makes sense. It's our job to serve the drinks the customers want. Why don't we make more money by adding cocktails to the menu? Okay. From now on, customers will begin to order cocktails. Serve cocktails as requested in the right order. Ooh, sounds complicated. Lots of lots of fish coming in. 73 shrimp. Okay. Um, let's have a look at that menu then. Cocktails 80. In terms of my staff, drink serving. Drink serving master. I might try and get El Nino's uh, stuff up. At, what can he do with a bit more training? Quite expensive. I think it'll be worth it though. Cleaning might hit. Oh, we can clean stuff up. That's actually really good. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I like that. So they can both do drinks, but he can also clean. That's going to be useful. Look at his serving step. I wonder if we might um, maybe even get a new ad going. Maybe I'll get the internet ad going. We might get someone good. Apparently you can see what their um, see what their potentials like. Oh, I, yeah, okay. Um, it's ones you haven't hired yet. You can press space when they're highlighted, and you can see like kind of what their potential stats and bonuses are. So that could be very useful. Anyway, let's look at the menu. So we're not going to do any of our special shark dishes, but I want to do expensive stuff. So let's do this. Starry skit. Oh yeah, uh, we'll put it on, but I'm not going to improve it because I don't have enough. Okay, so let's add this both. Um, vampire squid. We might be able to enhance as well. Fish. No, I 
want to be able to serve it on the menu, so let's put that on. Uh, pelican eel. Actually, the pelican eel will be worth more if I upgrade it, won't it? Um, I've got 40 Pacific fanfish. Okay, we can get this going a little more. Okay, let's close that. Uh, research. Is there anything else we can do? So we've got a Plotocid pie. Pelican eel jelly. I've used all my pelican eels now. Got quite a few coma, I think. That might be a good one, actually. It's actually the most expensive one, too. All right. There we go. Got so many things to research, isn't there? Um, all right. Well, without further ado, let's open up for the night. I'll let them take the drinks. Wasabi, hopefully, yeah, Nino's gonna do that. Who wants this? Who wants. Oh, I, I thought I got something, but obviously didn't. Uh, S. S. Oh. Okay, I don't really get the cocktails then. Someone else do that cocktail because I wasn't very good at it. Oh, she's getting impatient. Somebody do it. You know, do it. Oh. Right. S. Q. U. Do, I didn't do very well on the cocktails. I think everything else went pretty well. Not bad, money. Not bad. Oh, we didn't lose too much. I don't think the guy. I don't think um, this, the other servers can do cocktails looking at that because I think they, were, they, they weren't really doing anything. I have to enter the cave with an outflowing current to turn on the second control room switch. Is there any way to enter the cave? The current may be weaker today. I should go check. Ooh, shark storm today. All right, let's look at our farm report, see if we need to go over there. That's not it. Where's my farm report? Farm now. I've got a bit of damage on the, some of the stuff. I probably should go over there, shouldn't I? All right, let's go to the farm first. Got some eggs. Oh, I don't know a way to stop this stuff killing off the things I've bought and planted. It's annoying. I guess we'll go to the fish farm too. Keep sending all this stuff in. I've got thresher sharks and stuff now, that's pretty cool.
Ooh, we've got two of those tiger sharks now. That's pretty cool. And they produced any others yet? With the density of these with the sharks now, I might I might pay you to make those bigger. Yeah, we got eel pouts, but everything else is kind of single stuff at the moment. Uh, these will get to breeding, but at the moment we'll just leave them, I think. Uh, yeah, leave them to the B. Leave them B. So the 50 and the 130, I definitely want to increase the density. Uh, 50. And this one. that for now. Yeah, room to grow. Not a huge amount of room to grow though. Might be worth doing another one. So it's got some big sharks in this one. Okay, well we'll leave it at that for now. Um, right, we'll just go to the boat. I doubt I've got anything I can improve on eye diver. I mean, there's the harpoon gun and my knife. I wonder if that means I'll be able to do mining in the glacial zone. It does say so. It's actually maxed out now. So that's good. Let's see what Cobra is selling. Uh, hmm. I'll leave it for now. What am I taking? I've got the net gun. I suppose that's good. It's kind of what I said, isn't it? All right, let's go to... I probably should try and I probably should try and catch that jellyfish. I don't know what the best way of doing that's gonna be. Might be the sniper rifle. Alright, change of plan. Let's go for that wizard hat fish. It's supposed to be near the yellow boat. isn't too far away. I think I need another... I might need another yellow jellyfish. Jellyfish starfish, even. A couple more. I'll check out what that ingredient is. Oh, oh it's a thresher. No! thing. Off. Go away, Dave. No, no. Oh, I get stuck in here. There's no alcohol. Uh, no alcohol. There's no O2, unfortunately. Oh, it's waiting for me down there. There's no ammo here either. Right, get bolting for it. Ah! Okay, I can stop running now. I do need some O2 quite urgently. Oh, those Thresher sharks are horrible. Oh no, if one of those tuners nails me. Oh, 
Is there no O2? I don't want to have to go back to the boat already. I'll try and stay shallow. At least we're near the surface then, if necessary. Of course it's not O2. Aha! There we go. Need some more ammo now if I'm to go back and try and finish off that thresher shark. Oh, there's another one. Help! <laughs> Help! Oh god, leave me alone! Am I so slow? me. Even the shallows are dangerous now. I need to go back down there. I think that thresher shark is going to be back there. Do have more ammo now. God, I wish Dave was quicker. <laughs> Maybe I should take those scooters more often and um, use them to help run away from those sharks. Pressure's going to be near here. There he is. Headshot. Alright, we'll recover it with this. Leave that ammo for now. I do have a couple of rounds. I think is it about a hundred meters down the boat? It's something like that. We don't need to catch shrimp anymore. I'll make so so many of them at the fish farm. Ah. Oh. Ah, maybe I can lose this one. Oh god, he's still hanging around. Seahorse, I think that's a new one. I don't expect it's a particularly fast one, but it is a new one. We 
got him. I'll just uh, recover it this way, I think. I think it's in here. My little tracker thing's not going off. A depth of around. I might have to go back outside, and there's a bloody tiger shark waiting for me. Let's try and get this ammo. Actually, I'll do that after I've gone in for this. beeping, wasn't it? But nothing in here at this moment. Oh. Charge at me if you're going to. I want to go and get this gun. It's so level two, so I will take that. There it is. God, I'm going to have to get rid of these things. Too. I've got a refill. Another fish mill, I should take it to Udo. There we go, got it done. Got it done. Uh, I, might, I might head back next time I see an evac point, because I don't have my net, so I can't even go and capture fish in the glacial area. Um, Trust me to not see an evac point for a good long time. 
There's one. Kind of giving up trying to get a giant trevally fin now. Let's head up. And then we'll spend the afternoon trying to net stuff in the glacier area, I guess. Giraffe one I might move over. The rest can go into the pot. That might be a good one. I think I might only have one of those. <laughs> oh, you brought a new fishmon for our collection. Hmm, to think a jellyfish that looks like it's wearing a wizard hat actually exists. Surprise! Now then, we'll send you your fee when the issue's out on Monday morning. Please keep this up. Are you saying crops are grown? So what, what, what crops are grown? Oh, actually the beans and cherry tomatoes are. Okay. I suppose we could go get those. Actually, let's hand in some of our eco watcher stuff as well. Hundred and fifty off now. I guess we'll do the ones we can. So I don't use them in other things. Uh okay, well we'll head to the farm first. the net gun now. The rest of it looks okay. Oh, glacial area, that's where we want to go. Mm. I guess these are the kind of fish we want to catch as well, aren't they? down here and try and look for some ammo. <laughs> it is with a net gun but it's not about those seahorses there
go. and check out the entrance to that place as well. Which I'll try and do, if I can remember where it is, which I can't. Can I catch an octopus in this thing? Yes. It's not bad. I'm actually going to swap to that because we're going to go and check out this new cave, I think. Because he says the current probably isn't as strong today. Now, I'm basically up to my weight limit now, so I would quite like to. But I don't think it's down here. I don't think it was down this deep, so let's try a different way. Definitely through one of these tunnels. I'm feeling a bit like this is where the beluga was. Yep. Oh, I'll take that soy sauce. just be over here to the right, I think. Might as well top up the oxygen. There must be a second switch somewhere inside, but the strong current's blocking access. What should I do? Hey, it's our beluga buddy. Oh, the beluga. What are you doing here? It's dangerous here. Go back. What? You want me to ride on your back? The beluga could swim against the current. No oh boy, will it be okay? Oh wow. Well. Maybe I should grab on here. I'll wait. Move around with the beluga. Press left control to destroy obstacles in our way. Okay. Guess we avoid the jellyfish there. Oh, 
and shrimp. Is this a mummy jellyfish? Phantom jellyfish. Well, that looks like a glowing weak spot to me. If ever I've seen one. No, we didn't come to hunt small fish. It looks all rolled up. I must first calm it down. Can't use a weapon in this state. the exploders I would say. Come on. We can't get close. Okay. Maybe you have to dodge around until that sort of opens up its eye. me it went away. The back door is open, let's go through that. Maybe I can pick this up. Very nice. Oh, that must be the switch. Should I activate it? So, I reckon so. Just check out the rest of the chamber. There's probably more stuff to do. Doesn't look as hot now. I heard big machinery operating outside. The door's open, maybe it leads outside. Mm. 
Oh, I feel less heat than before. Maybe I could go down now. Okay, well, we've upgraded our suit already, so yeah, maybe it's worth um, checking that out. I've used a lot of pretty much all my weight allowance, but I might catch one of those good seahorses down there. Because that's the important thing. <laughs> I suppose I could use this. Try and save some for getting away from narwhals. Uh, let's just... Which way do I think is the way out? This way, I think. We're also looking for some of that um, special ore. I forget what it's exactly called, but I think it's green. Right, stay away from the normal. I don't want to aggro, aggro anything. Ooh, poison sniper. The maximum, I think it was 535 is the furthest I've been down until now. It's like we've done it. Holy moly, are these ancient creatures? They must have been released from the melting glacial ice. I wonder if those are of any use to Bancho for his sushi place. Bring him some samples if I can catch any of them. This one that's actually chasing us. Ah. An Alanipterus. This is what that is. In this weapons crate. Wouldn't mind a new uh, spear tip. There's a mirror down there, we can remember that. Ooh, another ice gun. So what does this do? Freezes the target for 10 seconds when the debuff is stacked six times. Inflicts 80 ice damage. I mean, that does sound pretty good, doesn't it? Maybe I should try and use it. I'm gonna, I won't get rid of the sniper rifle yet, though. Right, we have something jump out at us here. We've got another ray, is it? Of some kind. Is it doing anything? Ah. Ah. You're back in there, eh? Cover that, particularly as I don't think I've got the weight allowance to actually carry it anyway. Could do some more ammo now. We're getting down into some depths now. Tadpole-like creatures. Are they an ancient species as well? 
What a rare opportunity. I'll just take a picture of him while I can. Uh, extra zoom in. Four at once. Okay, we could read. Oh, I could have retaken. Never mind. What are you? Waptadia fielensis. I don't think that's a type of um, thing. Uh, seahorse. Right, I need to get rid of some stuff. It's tough though. How much am I over? Ooh, not by much. I got quite a lot of these polar eel pals, I suppose I can get one of like rid of one of those. Nice to be in a new biome, it's quite fun. I was hoping to have found some of that ore, I haven't found it yet. thing. I don't know if the ice gun's going to really do very much to it. Oh, crap. Crap, crap, crap. I want, I want the sniper. Did that do anything? Oh, I think I just missed the first shot. Oh, no. uh, I'm out of bullets. There was some ammo down here. I'll take the O2 as well. Oh crap. Some of that stuff's not hitting it. Do I have to get it in the underbelly? Maybe. Oh no, it's attacked me right in the cutscene. <laughs> ah. Could do with some more ammo. Gun's not going to be a lot of use here. That thing looks dangerous. Ammo and oxygen. Oh, let's do whatever his face is. Shawadi wadi. I want to avoid that one. I don't want to go get, get that big one's attention again. Oh, not him though. Give up. Why didn't that hit? Got him. All right, let's recover. Very nice. Dunkleosteus, or whatever that was. Yeah, okay, I think I'm gonna go. We've got so much cool stuff, I'm just, I need to go back to the boat and drop it off. Hopefully, we can go directly here, though, but I guess we'll see. Uh, 
we only found a leafy one, didn't we? I guess we'll move it. I think we'll probably leave it there for now, though. I've just checked the time on the video and it's over an hour. Udo's there, though. Oh, you brought a picture of something. Can I see? Oh, what are these tadpoles? I've seen a picture of them in a book. Oh. I remember now. Arandaspis. How did you take this picture? Where in the world could you take this kind of picture? Our readers may think you're using fake pictures. If so, it's all on you, Dave. I'm just kidding. I'll put your picture to good use. I'm sure the readers will love it. Yeah, we'll do this the shark thing when we come back. But I'm just going to say thanks very much for watching this episode, which is already extremely long. Uh, Raptor looks like a really good server. Um, we'll deal with him when I get to the restaurant, I suppose. <laughs> Yoni could be a good cook too. We'll have a look at those. Um, but in the meantime, uh, yeah, hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please hit the thumbs up button. Uh, let me know in the comments what you think about the game and everything we've done so far. Feels like we could be building towards some kind of conclusion, perhaps, with the last switch. Interested to hear your thoughts. And also, if you're watching this and haven't already subscribed, it'd be great if you could do so. So thanks very much, and I hope to see you next time for more Dave the Diver. Bye for now. <laughs>